Hi everyone. First of all, thanks to each and everyone for showing trust in me and choosing this specialized course for ophthalmology residents. See, frankly speaking, initially I was uh, reluctant to do the same. But I have a lot of apprehensions in the beginning as our subject, like uh, any other subject, is very vast and limitless. So the big question was what to include and what not to. Initially, I just thought that I will give some uh, quick and basic tips which can help the residents uh, during the post-graduation. But as we started uh, with the demo, and if you um, remember the first demo I did for on ptosis and angiography, and then the first live session uh, on basic investigations and examinations, especially on the slit lamp, I realized that uh, we can do much more here. And the thought that uh, while we can do the basics of a topic which can help you in the theory exam, and if simultaneously I can tell some quick viva voce tips mm -hmm. and questions along with some correct examination techniques, uh, it could be useful for the resident as an overall perspective. So the plan was very simple. In each and every topic, I started uh, with some theory so that it helps you in theory writing. Simultaneously, I was uh, also giving you some viva voce tips and uh, of course, if there is some examination technique uh, there, so I was telling some examination technique along with that and how to interpret those techniques and devices. Of course, I know that uh, it would have been, not have been possible for uh, all of you to attend the live sessions being a resident, uh, it's, it's hectic. So recorded sessions were given and uh, this was the first slide which <laughs> we started uh, we, we, I made in the beginning of the lecture and recorded version access were all of course there and uh, which one can see in a number of times as per the convenience. Though advantage of live course would have been uh, live uh, attending the live class would have been to cover the session in a lesser time than it what takes in a recorded one. The best approach would have been to attend live and if one needs to see again one can quickly go through the recorded version and uh, that would take a lesser time. As we know it's a uh, app based learning and it's a new thing and we were able to connect because of this app based but along with that technical glitches are bound to happen login issues app updates are always there see when you joined the course uh, see dams was a mediator between uh, it was a platform between me and you but when these technical issues come then i became the mediator between you and dams See, you people don't know because but there is a helpline number for all these technical issues but i knew if the helpline number uh, if you have gone through the helpline number, it will take a longer time to address the issues. Being a resident, if you get an issue like this, app issues and not, uh, I mean, login issues, you don't have so much time to stand in front of the head of a stand head of a tech team and get the issue resolved. Firstly, getting in touch with the tech team is a, itself is a big task, even for me. So that's why it, uh, one of the reasons for making the WhatsApp group was, of course, to update you uh, with all the uh, schedule and the classes. And also if there are some any doubts or any some issues like this technical issues I allowed everyone to write the issues to me personally or on the group and I thought that if I would ask the technical team directly at least it will take a little time uh, for me to get it resolved uh, if you were dealing directly but I have also faced the same issues like you it was difficult to uh, get in touch with the tech team uh, for me also sometimes but but I expected at least a basic Indian method of switching on and switching off the phone, logging, logging in, logging out, updating the app. Many issues solved by simply doing this. <laughs> Nevertheless, see, uh, we started on 3rd of February and uh, I was given 24 sessions and the time frame was 6 months. So starting from 3rd Feb, it was supposed to end by about uh, August, 3rd August. But as we go on with the clinical topics, I realized that it will take more time to attend and see the sessions. Being a resident, you have lots of other things to do also, huh? I know. <laughs> so I deliberately gave gaps in between the sessions so that uh, I could extend the course at least at least till September end. And we ended um, today, September 29th. And that would give eight months for the someone who have, uh, for someone who has joined uh, initially the 3rd of February. That was the best uh, which was in my hands. Still, uh, many people are asking that they are not able to see the sessions because of lack of time. So after the completion of the course, uh, of course, you will give options of extension uh, will be available to you for different durations and uh, which you can choose according to one's need if you want to choose. Details of that will be uh, shared to you on WhatsApp. Also, you will get uh, by tomorrow in the e-medicals uh, as well, by tomorrow or day after tomorrow. 
coming back back to academics uh, we all know that even a simple thing uh, like for example lens anatomy can be dealt in so much detail but uh, as a resident of course you need to know the basics and some advanced points but everything and everything is needed not to be needed uh, to be known by everyone of course you are doing, going to do a fellowship also then of course you will read 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 more but the point was the first step is always the hardest step the the step towards learning is infinite our subject is also very vast but i hope this course has given you many steps forward towards understanding the concepts and to to an extent it can be more than enough for a resident but of course when you give a, when we when we get a basic idea our enthusiasm increases and we incline towards learning more and more and more and what that was my purpose So as it is no limit to our study no limit to study uh, to our subject it's limitless it's not an easy our subject is not an easy one but if you know the basic things correctly we go in a step by step in a correct manner it enlightens us to learn more and more and i just hope that i was able to spark that this thing in you if not then i can really apologize <laughs> Lastly, uh, we created WhatsApp group as I said uh, mainly to intimate regarding the classes. But any doubts and issues were most welcomed. Now, as we finish the classes, uh, I would uh, certainly would like to continue to be a part of that group. I am just a part. You, it's your group. I am just a part of that group. So those who have finished the subscription also they are welcome to be a remain uh, to welcome to remain a part of the group, or they can choose to leave also if they wish. You have my uh, number. you have uh, always uh, you are always welcome to message me any for anything uh, either in the group or or in person as well thanks again thank you very much work hard have fun as well and always be happy you can contact me on the number also whenever you uh, subscribe uh, you know there is a code drsomed540 you can use that code and uh, you can get um, Uh, some discount if if you if you want to get some uh, added uh, extension i would be intimated uh, earlier in that case thank you very much best wishes to all always be happy thanks